Ah, morning guys. Yeah, we're just out doing a bit of perch fishing again today in the, this absolute beauty. It was a bit feisty. Has just hit the little grass minnow we were. <laughs> oh, an absolute beauty again. Um, he's got a hollow belly, but I am going to wait. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll just slide him in this bag. Now the trick here is to keep all his fins flat as you put it into the bag. So there's no damage to his fins. Just double check there. Everything's flat. Got that on pound on zero. weighs 1.68 to 1.7 which is one pound 11 roughly yeah pretty hollow belly but lovely fish looks bigger 37 cool. centimeter fish mate and it's 37 centimeters yeah but it's it, it's got no belly to it at all so what we'll do is i'll just another quick look at him because he is a bit feisty you hand release him chris and then i'll hand release him at the corner again yeah. Big unit for that, mate, right? We're an absolutely belting fish. Let's get him back in. Deserves a nice little hand release, this guy does. But if you can see there, it's all hollow. Nothing there at all. But what an absolute star. Bugger off and eat some today. roach. Let's uh, give you some water there, no fowley. Yeah, so we're out on a, a stretch we fished before today. Uh, hopefully we'll catch some more fish and I'll, uh, I'm going to do a few tips today how we jig up, what jigs we use on what uh, jig head, what grams we use with certain lures. So hopefully it'll be a good video and a good day's fishing. Uh, if you just spin round there, the bobs just must have one as well. Absolute belt. Is that the grass minnow we just put on? Yeah, that's an Ikogi grass mini, mate. Yeah, straight large, Slightly larger fish. one. Straight in. Well done, buddy. Hopefully we'll catch you soon with some more fish. Thanks for watching, guys. So, guys, I've just, uh, just nipped inside the car, just for a bit like why I do a few tips on the old video. Uh, also gives me a chance to have a uh, cheeky little brew there, aren't I? Uh, but it keeps all the wind and all, all the water noise away while I'm doing the video. Right, how do I jig up? Uh, how do I pick my lures, pick my jigs, pick my sizes? It depends on what I'm fishing for on the day to be honest with you. And today it's perch. Um, so I'll, I'll start off really by showing me a little perch box. Which is this little baby, I think you've seen it before. Uh, all my little perch gear in there, as you can all see. So today I'm starting off with you know, just targeting a few of the little perch. Uh, so what I tend to do is use a one or one and a half gram jig head, which I'll just show you one now, uh, which I'll use today, uh, which will be something like that. I'll just zoom it in a bit for you. It's got a nice little uh, little clasp there that actually holds your lure on. Um, so that's the sort of size, that's a one gram. Um, what I tend to do is, have a look at the the jigs I've brought with me. Uh, let's start off with something simple. Um, let's have a quick look. There you go. That's a gunky whiz. Now that's five centimeters. Now the way I jig up is, I'll measure the the, the actual lure against the jig head, as so. So you want it. So it's at the end of the jig there, just there. So what I tend to do is with my thumb. Just measure out where I want the hook to come out, and I keep my thumb there. So I want that that little jig hook there to come out halfway down the bluey. And the way I do that is, all I do is keep my thumb there, 
I actually thread it on. So don't know whether you can see this on camera. I'll thread it on. Nice and steady for you. So you thread it through the, the front of the nose. Keep threading it down the shank of the hook. And I've still got my thumb mark there. So pop the hook out there. That's, you can see how that is now. The hook's just coming out on the centre. And all we'll do with that now is just get them right to the front of the jig. And there you have it. Jigged up exactly for the little perch. Halfway down the lure. Doesn't affect the action on the tail end. And the eye's nice and clear. So that's the way I do the small stuff. If I'm going for bigger stuff, um, I probably will a bit later. Uh, I'll use a heavier jig head uh, and a slightly larger hook on it. So for example, this is a clippy, gunky clippy. Now I'll probably use a three gram on this and these are called sliders. Now there's no eyes on these clippers. So you see there, there's actually eyes on these jig heads. So it just gives it a just a little bit of a added little bonus for you there. Now, same thing with these. Measure where you want the, the fish to come. A little lure. Dead simple. Put your thumb there. Like that. And same again. Just thread them through. Now sneak it through the nose. Thread it down through the, through the chunk of the hook. Not through where, where your thumb was. And away you go. Onto your jig. Now, I, I, I don't expect everybody to do the same thing. This is just my way of doing it, and this is how I target the perch. But they see there's two different sizes. You can, you can also use uh, four, four centimeters on the one gram. Um, I've got plenty of lures here. I'll probably use that on a one to one and a half gram as well. And that's a grass minnow eco gear. But it's, it's dead simple and it does work and uh, hopefully in the, the next part of the video I'll show you how I get a few wasps. But thanks very much for watching how I jig my lures onto my jigs. Cheers guys.
Alright guys, uh, another tip I've got is um, how do we use my, my fluorocarbon setup and also my drop shot setup, actually attaching it to the braid. So I'll just show you this little box here. It's actually a little cork rig box, but I've, I've modified it slightly. And inside, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, I've got a few tied up already. So I'll just show you one, and you can see how I actually attach it to my rod system. And I'll, I'll leave the clip on. So there I have a one gram jig head with a size four hook on. And at the other end, and now this is eight pound, Fox fluorocarbon, which I'll show you in a minute. But on the other end of that, I've got a very small, I think you can see it there. Just zoom in a bit for you. There you go. It's a little swivel, and it's absolutely perfect. On the end of my braid, on me on my rod, um, I've got an actual snap clip, and so that just threads up the snap clip on straight away. Now the reason I do this is, if you're in competition, you, you need to be quick when you're changing loose or something's wrong. So I, I keep roughly about five or six already tied up, different lengths, different braking strains. Uh, this is eight pound obviously, but as you can see, it's it's really good stuff, the Fox stuff is, so I'm quite happy with that one. I've also got five pound, two and a half pound, depends how light you want to go really. And uh, I'll just quickly put that back in there. So yeah. It's very quick, it's just snap clip, straight off, another rig, straight on, bang, away you go. More time fishing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in a bit. Um, this is the uh, Fox Rage Illusion fluorocarbon, which I'm using at the moment. Now, this one's eight pound braking strain, uh, but it, it's super lightweight, and it, it's really, you can't really see it in the water. It, it, it's virtually unnoticeable if you can see it there I've got, zoom. I've got it right in there so you can see the, the actual line there yeah so yeah I rate this one very highly obviously there's other products out there this is just my choice so yeah good stuff that is always have some decent fluorocarbon on your line guys <laughs>
this little beauty here is a hook sharpener. So virtually every time I've caught a fish, uh, this stays in my front pocket. And as soon as I've caught a fish, you just see the little grooves in it there. You've got a smooth side, very fine file on it, and then a rough side. But well, I use the smooth side, I do. And all it is, is just a couple of twists across there. Jobs are good. And that is mega sharp as well. So it really puts a point on for you, but that's deadly. You don't want to be missing fish at all. Um, so if you've got a sharp hook, sharp hook on your jig, that's a bonus.